So, <laughs> remember a while back I picked up a Nikon, but I didn't have any lenses for it yet? Well, it's escalated. Come back and we'll talk about the D40X and what all I've got for it. What's going on everybody, this is Patrick with MTO Productions. How are you doing? Um, so we're gonna do an update video on the Nikon D40X. Am I married to this thing right now? Well, I'm kind of liking some of the things about it. Um, you know, I was doing some more research on the camera itself. Um, of course it has the uh, CCD sensor in it. It's a 10 megapixel one, not the six megapixel, the D40. Um, it is the 1.5 times crop factor on this camera. So you point better. I don't know. Um, Nikon imaging processing engine is the same as the D80 and the D200. Your color, 3D color matrix metering 2 420 pixel sensor is the same as in the D80 and D50. Um, does it hit focus every time? No. No, it, it, it misses from time to time. Um, I'd say out of, I shot a bunch of pictures with it yesterday and I threw away, I say I threw away, I deleted since you don't actually print them out anymore hardly. But anyway, I uh, deleted probably six to eight that just focus was missed 100%. Could be me. I'm not going to lie. Could be me. Could be something I've done. But um, I did pick up two lenses for it. Uh, one I've shot a little bit with. And we'll get into that and plus the one that I did. So the first lens I actually brought in for it and shot a little bit here and there with it is the kit lens. Why not? Um, I think this would be a good learning camera for somebody if they're wanting a digital and I may end up selling this thing uh, because there's something I really really want really really bad please anyway um, but I may end up selling the whole setup the way it is and you know be happy that I had it and had fun with it um, but this is a 18 to 70 millimeter lens 3.5 to 4.5 um, F on it, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's a basic kit lens. And this is probably the first version um, of it. Man, see, and I do this. <laughs> it does have a metal base, if that matters anything. I know some of the Canon stuff, you get into the newer versions, there are plasticky bases and that kind of thing. It does have the uh, lens hood with it still, which is quite impressive um i see how lens hoods get left behind and stuff because they're made to put on like that but if you try to do anything like zooming or anything with it well the lens hood's in the way so you take it off you throw it in your camera bag or you throw it in the tr seat of the truck and it disappears this one did for about two days and i finally found it under the seat but so that's the first lens i've got for this camera was the basically the kit lens. Okay, so the next thing lens I got is basically Nikon's version of the Nifty 50. And that would be the Canon, or Canon, 
God. Do I even know who I am? Anyway, that would be the Nikon DX AFS Nikkor 35mm 1.8. That's this one right here. It's attached to the camera because I have been using it a lot. And I do like what this does. Does it still miss focus from time to time? Yep, sure does. Um, now we're shooting mainly the way it is. Lens hood on it. Lens hood. Got another lens hood to lose. Anyway, uh, lens hood's on it. And I was also shooting with a CPL filter on it. It's not adjustable. It's a fixed CPL filter. Um, but you saw the pictures that when I first fired up, you know, the video and then the pictures between the two lenses that I'm talking about. These all came off of this setup right now. Um, I agree it's a lot like Nike, uh, Canon's Nifty 50. This one too also has the metal base. And for you Nikon users all the time, I still have not got used to the way the lens twists on because Canon does totally opposite. Uh, the one thing I did rave about when I first got this is placement of the power button. I love that. Um, that is my one biggest um, applaud or two thumbs up is where the power button is on that camera. Shoot with Canon very much. You know Canon throws their damn power button on wherever they want to. Not where it makes sense. This camera, it actually is right up here at the top and I can flip it off on pretty easily. Um, my 5D Mark II, it's in the back of the camera. It's on the back. My 70D, it's I think on that side and it's up here at the top. So Canon. Put your power button on the same spot every time, okay? Maybe y'all see this, hear my argument. Um, pros on this lens, and I'm getting this off of excellent image quality. I will say that, yeah, the images are usually really, really good. Uh, it's pretty versatile. Now, one con, it is a fixed focal length. I've learned some things here lately about the fixed focal length that kind of, um, well, kind of like. You're the focus. I mean, you're the focal length for that camera. So if you're wanting to take a really close up shot of this lens, you get closer. You want to take a far away shot, you get further away. It's pretty simple. No zooming or anything, but you're the zoom, basically. Um, fast aperture, 1.8, it's pretty fast, but that's how fast my Nifty 50 is, is 1.8. Um, with the crop factor and everything on it, this comes out to be close to 50 millimeter. Um, so that's why you get some of the same, uh, photos out of this camera is you're really close to that, um, to that focal length on the Canon. Now, something that they, they boast about is lightweight design, easy transporting. I agree, this makes this a fairly small package. Um, this camera, technically, I was, I've, I've been holding it up side by side, is the same size as my SL3. And if you're not familiar with SL3, it's a smaller body camera. Um, so for travel, this SL3, I've taken it to a lot of places. I've had a lot of off-road stuff. But you you come to find out, because I've toted the 70D around a few times too, it's a lot bulkier and a little bit heavier. And you, you feel that. The other thing is value. I think I pay maybe 75 bucks for this lens. So right now I've got a total of Oh, over 130 bucks in the whole camera, which, you know, camera's going up. All the cameras are going up expensive because everybody's trying to get them. 
Um, there is no weather sending on this lens. Okay. Uh, no image stabilization. It does not have that. This lens I'm shooting on does have image stabilization. They they mentioned purple fringing on the on the edges of the um, pictures, but I didn't see that. I, I I haven't felt that or seen that or whatever. I it, I just don't see that. Um, I don't know. Maybe so. Uh, one of the other um, big complaints is plastic construction. While yes, the lens is plasticky. At least it has a metal base plate. Um, I think Canon's proven that the back, the lenses will last pretty good being plasticky. I mean, Lord, the crap I've put this camera through and this lens through just in the last year and a half of owning it. Um, it's held up. I mean, there's, you know, I'm plasticky. That's all you get in these days, just about. But um, anyways, I um, am very pleased with this camera. Has it let me down a couple times? Yes. Uh, because of the slow processing speed, because it is a much older processor. Uh, I mean, let's, let's face it. This, this camera came out, what was it, in 2006, 2004? The age of the camera, it, it, you know, being a slower processor, you just have to keep that in mind. It's kind of like film photography with these, actually. You, you have, you click and wind. Well, by the time this thing gets through doing its thing, it's kind of like winding the next, um, unless you have a speed winder or whatever. <laughs> anyway. Um, but no, it's not going to be a lightning fast camera. Not going to happen. It's, does at least use the SD card. You get older Canons, it's still using CF cards. CF cards are paying the butt. Kind of. You can bend prongs and screws it up and then you're done. Um, I saw somebody talking the other day. They had an older Canon that they bent one of the prongs on and the camera's pretty much done because it wouldn't be cost effective to repair it. Um, to repair that prong in that, on that CF card, just not worth it. So anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you appreciate it. I, uh, I've had fun shooting with this camera. I may give it to Chloe and let her shoot around with it for a little bit. And then I may end up selling it because there is something I really want. It is an EF. Um, if that tells you anything, it does have a red ring around it. See you on the next one, guys. Appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Later.